Hi there guys, my name's Craig Petty from Slightly Unusual. We specialise in wedding entertainment. On this week's vlog, I'm gonna tell you the five big reasons why you absolutely must have a close-up magician at your wedding. So guys, you're getting married, congratulations. You probably started thinking about entertainment. If you haven't, you really should. Bridal Magazine did a survey recently. They said 78% of brides said looking back at their wedding, they wish they'd spent more money on entertainment. And the reason's simple. When it's all said and done, people who come to the wedding, they don't remember um, the color of the chair covers or whether there are fizzy cola bottles on the sweet stand. They remember the memories and experiences that are created throughout the day and into the evening. And the entertainment is a big part to play with that. Because what the entertainment does is it helps people, uh, bringing people together, it's absolutely wonderful. But you're probably thinking, what entertainment should you have? Well, I'm here to tell you, you absolutely need to book a close-up magician. Now, you could say I'm biased because I am a close-up magician, and that's probably true, but in this vlog, I'm gonna tell you the five reasons why you absolutely have to have a close-up magician at your wedding. Number one, avoid those awkward silences. You know, at weddings, you've got a lot of people from two different families that probably don't know each other. And if you're not careful, they kind of form their own little groups and it be kind of becomes them versus us. One thing that a good magician will do as a wedding is they'll bring these groups of people together. So you might be performing, say, maybe during the champagne reception and you'll be performing one group of people and a good magician will catch the eye of another group and will bring them into the uh, performance. Hey, come over here, come over here, have a look at this as well. By the time the magician leaves to go somewhere else to another group of people, those people are chatting and they've got something to talk about. It's a great way to bring people together and create conversation. It also works the same way during the wedding breakfast. You see, during the wedding breakfast, you have tables of people who in all likelihood don't know each other. Unless you're a miracle worker, you're never gonna get the table plan sorted so everybody knows everybody else on that table. So what a good magician will do during the wedding breakfast is perform to the whole table and that's a great way to give people again a conversation starter an icebreaker that gets people talking and the conversation starts flowing freely if you want to make sure that all of your guests are brought together as one a closer magician will make sure that happens Number two, get photos that you will love and look at forever. When you hire a photographer, obviously they're gonna get the staged shots, but most photographers will spend the day and the evening walking around getting photos of your guests during the wedding breakfast, during the champagne reception, during the evening reception. And the problem is when you take a camera and you point it in someone's face, most people will kind of like, they won't smile, they'll kind of look a little bit shocked. And if you're not careful, you'll just have a load of shots and you'll have a load of pictures that are no good. Most photographers will tell you the best way to get awesome, natural looking shots of your guests smiling and having a good time is by taking a picture of them reacting to magic. Because when people watch magic, they relax, and when they see something amazing, they laugh and, and they smile. A lot of photographers, when they actually are at a wedding with a magician, they'll literally follow that magician around and they'll just take pictures of the guests that magician's performing for, because they know that that is the best way to get photos for you that are gonna be absolutely awesome. Forget about what you personally think about magic. Having a magician at your wedding will guarantee you that the photos that you're getting, you're getting are much better. Better. Number three, keep people entertained even during lull periods. The thing with a wedding is it's a long time. It takes place over the whole of the day. So because of that, there's lots of times when during that wedding, people are standing around with nothing to do. So for example, during the photos, generally it's only immediate family that are involved. The rest of the people are just standing around. And normally they've not eaten because they know they're gonna have a big wedding breakfast. So they're starving. They've just sat through the ceremony. They just want the food and it's not gonna be for another couple of hours. So a lot of people are just standing around, especially if you've got kids at your wedding, just with nothing to do. So having a magician is a great thing to do to keep people entertained. During the photos, the magician can grab everybody, keep the energy up and keep people entertained while they're waiting to go into the wedding breakfast. Another example is during the, um, during the, the turnaround of the room, the lull. So after the speeches are finished and before the evening guests arrive, again, during that time when the room's getting turned around, the guests get kicked out and there's nothing to do. The evening guests are arriving, everyone's kind of standing around. Again, it's a great time to have a magician there, keeping people entertained during the turnaround of the room keeping the evening guests entertained when they arrive so that everyone has an amazing time. If you've got lull periods during your wedding, having a close-up magician is an intimate experience and it's a great way to keep people entertained without having to like get everybody in one room watching a big show. Number four, 
avoid being generic. The thing with most weddings, or a lot of weddings these days, is it's very paint by numbers. It's the same venue, it's the same coloured tablecloths, it's the same sweet cart in the corner. Everyone always has a DJ, they always have a singer. Kind of everything is much of a muchness. Having a close-up magician really is something different. It's something that you don't see at every wedding. It helps make your wedding stand out. I can't tell you the amount of brides and grooms that contact us after we perform for them saying, you know what, you made our wedding. You absolutely made our wedding. Everybody's still talking about you. Days, weeks, months later, we'll have uh, phone calls and emails from our clients saying, look, it's been months later and people are still talking about your performance. It really does kind of elevate your, uh, you know, your wedding to an entirely new level because you're doing something different that nobody else is doing. And you know what? We've been booked a lot of times by brides and grooms that don't even like magic. We got a phone call just a few weeks ago from a lady who saw us at a wedding and she went, look, I've got to be honest with you, I don't like magic. I don't care whether I see you perform or not, but I've seen the reactions that you get from guests at other weddings and I want my guests to have that same reaction. It doesn't really matter whether you like magic or not. If you want something different at your wedding, something that your guests will talk about for a long time to come, having a magician is absolutely a great idea. Number five, give your guests the wow factor. What's the wow factor? Well, the wow factor is that moment that makes people go, Wow. Doesn't matter how good you are, doesn't matter how good your DJ is, you're never going to walk into a, uh, into a wedding reception and have a DJ set up and have your guests go, wow. It's expected that there's going to be a DJ there. It's kind of related to point four, but it's different as well. You want to make sure that your guests have the wow factor. You're only getting married once, hopefully, so you want to make sure that People have that wow factor. And what magic does, because it's so close, magic's so popular these days. You see people like Dynamo, you see people like David Bain, Darren Brown, Chris Angel, the list goes on and on and on. There's people on TV all the time. Look at Britain's Got Talent, people are constantly doing really well. Magicians are constantly on these programs. Magic now is more popular than it's ever been before. And most people wanna see it live because they think that they can work it out if they see it live. Not only do they wanna see it live, they wanna see it close up because they think the closer they can get, the more likely it is they'll figure it out. So when there's a magician at the wedding, at your wedding, they absolutely will give your guests the wow factor and it will be that thing that everyone's talking about for a long, long time to come for all the right reasons. Look, here's the thing, it's your wedding at the end of the day. It's your choice whether you have a close-up magician or not. Honestly, I'm biased. I am a close-up magician. I run a company that supplies close-up magicians, but I think having the close-up magician is one of the most important things that you can organize for your wedding. You know, we get phone calls an awful lot from people after the wedding's been planned and they realise they've got a bit of money left in their budget and they're like, oh, let's get a magician. I think it's the thing that people should think about right at the very beginning. But here's the thing, if you'd like me to have a chat with you and talk through the various options at your wedding, feel free to give me a call. You can reach me on the office number, which is 0333-301-3001, or you can, give us a, you can check out our website. Just go to www.slightlyunusual.co.uk and uh, click on weddings, have a look at the weddings page. While you're at it, go on YouTube. You're on YouTube right now, Look at the weddings playlist and have a look at all of the weddings videos that we've got and look at the reactions that they get. And ask yourself an honest question. Wouldn't you want your guests to react like that? If you do, please give me a call. Please drop me an email. Fill in the contact form on the website. Even put a comment down here in the YouTube video. I'll get back to you with a navigation consultation. Guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We put videos live, magic videos, every single day. And we'd love you to be a part of that. So if you want to watch all of these crazy stuff that we do, then please subscribe to this channel. My name's Craig from Slightly Unusual, and I'll be back with another vlog next week.